11 17 i'm 17 minutes late i hate being late pause welcome to a new vlog ladies gentlemen boys girls pets anyone who's watching maybe some nfts maybe some avatars this one is going to be fire but first make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe make sure you tell everybody because today i'm going to give you my top five life hacks for making the most out of the hours you have every single day by showing you how I squeeze the most out of my hours today. And to start, we're gonna rewind, so let's rewind. We all have the same 24 hours in the day. Mine right now are freezing. 19 degrees in here in New York City. But we all have the same 24 hours in the day. How can you make yours higher quality? I've been thinking about that a lot. Good morning, YouTube, by the way. Good morning, Surfam. Of course, members call themselves the Surfam. And it's not about changing your life. It's not about changing your days. Everyone has the same days. Everyone has the same hours. It's about making your hours higher quality. And I want to talk to you about what that means. I'm going to go take a shower. You're going to come with me this whole damn day. Let's go. You ready for the day? I got my, my morning juice here. Real question is, is the day ready for you? This day is fucking ready to go. It's a Tuesday. It's a beautiful day. Trash day. Right, let's jump in the car. Okay. It's so cold. All right, my morning commute. Actually, you know what? I'm sitting on a couch here. Let me take off this jacket. Let's get a little comfortable. Do some couch talk. My morning commute is incredibly important to me, right? Because what I want to show to you is that life hack number one is you should spend every second of your day only focusing on what you are good at. Everything else should be done by other people. You want to build, you want to grow, you need to learn the power of leverage through others. So let's keep going. Let me tell you a little secret that you probably know too. No one wants to work more. No one wants to wake up every day and say, hey, you know what? That guy's super successful. He works 10 hours. I'm not there yet. I'm going to work 20 hours today. People want to work less. How do we work smarter? How do we take the hours that I have which are the same hours that everyone else has because the sun rises and the sun sets for me the same way it does for everybody else. How can I have higher quality days? And now we're on the way to the office. A little bit difference now. I'm stuck on the Brooklyn Bridge in this traffic because I moved to the Burbs, AKA the Brooklyn. We're in the process of building a company. You saw what it was like the day we launched with just a couple of us. Now I'm 16 months into it. We're just over 150 people growing, 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 building, building, building. And there's a lot of ups and there's lots of downs, there's lots of hurdles, there's a lot of people I work with and I wanna bring you all into that part of my life. You should only focus on your biggest problems and have other people focus on everything else. So like my morning commute is a problem. I'm gonna be what, going into the subway, paying for Ubers, paying for this. No, I'm going to invest in the time so that I can focus on everything else. Actually, that reminds me of something that a JP Morgan exec once told me. Actually, let's watch. I was flying in, a, in one of JP Morgan's like private planes once, and I was with one of their sweet C-suite executives. It's the person, um, uh, what Jamie Dimon's life was like, right? The CEO, JP Morgan Chase, one of the most powerful bankers in the world. She's like, you'd be pretty surprised. You know, his calendar, for the most part, is coordinated almost one year in advance. Yep. <laughs> but what that allows him to do is he only does the most important things. Everything else is managed by other people. And then his days have a lot of what you call white space in the calendar so that he can leave himself open every day for spontaneity, like new problems, new issues. Hey, I'm gonna stop in on this meeting. I'm gonna do drop-ins with this person because he's gotten to the level now where all the stuff that I currently do, he's able to have very, very, very senior people manage and handle. Eventually I will get there. Like I have a 16 month old baby. Like think about a baby, right? Like Xena right now is about to turn three. It's still a baby, I still have to take care of her, but she can walk, she can do stuff. A 16 month old baby, it will die <laughs> if you don't care for it every single minute. And so that's what the business is, but I'm helping it grow to eventually, you know, go off to college and meet someone rich and get married and take care of me for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> we are here, welcome to the headquarters. What's one thing you're excited about today, guys? Oh, that's such a good vlog question, Jen. Thanks. Ryan. 
Well, I'm excited that it's sunny out and that I went to the gym and that it's not even 8.30 yet and we solved like half of my problems. What are you excited about? Turn me. Yeah, you. I'm, I'm trying to send this counter offer. I got like all the, I got a lot to do in the next nine minutes You'll before get, my 8.30. You'd get more done if you were grateful for something. I'm, so, I'm grateful for everything you do. I'm grateful for Diego. I'm grateful for Gabby. I'm grateful for I'm grateful for everyone. Okay, let's wait right there for one second. Now, my day has started. Beginning of my day, I'm into the office, lots of stuff going on, and I'm about to get into my meetings. And my mindset is such that I want to be as efficient as possible. And one of the Sirhants, name of my company, little tricks we do for meetings is we only do meetings if they are incredibly important and must be done as a meeting. And they have to have done work leading into it so that the meeting isn't discussing information and then let's all go out and do something else and then have to come back and make decisions. All right, so this is my morning meetings on this particular day. I have a ventures meeting, a studios meeting, and I have a marketing meeting. And I try to do a big meeting day so they're not scattered throughout the week. That also gives me freedom and flexibility to make the most of my hours elsewhere. It's idea, decision, execute, move forward. Analysis paralysis has destroyed the whole civilization of the world that we're in right now. And I keep moving forward, keep moving forward. So in ventures, it's our education department. Uh, going into my weekly ventures meeting, ventures runs the education program. It's growing crazy. We hire a new person like every single week. Oh, hey, Diego. Welcome to the Ventures Meeting. Right now, I have 10,400 or 500 course members every single day who are learning how to sell with our team. Ventures started with me, just me and Kyle two plus years ago with this crazy idea of how do I take Sell Like Sir Hanta book that we took and turned into a TV show on Bravo, that we then took and turned into a speaking tour that it did around the world, that we then took and turned into a digital online education course, which is sales training for everyone. And so we go through the decision points that need to be done, the tech stack, the ed tech product that we're building, all of the community member services that we're doing. And the team now, like 15 people, it's crazy. Then I go into studios. What's up? <laughs> okay, great, let's go. Okay. My monthly studios meeting. So the whole team gets together, they present what they're working on for the month, they go through their OKRs, they go through the goals. We make important decisions on how studios, our in-house film studio, is moving forward, creating the number one real estate media network in the world. Wait, wait, don't go anywhere, we should take a photo. And if you haven't logged on, and if you haven't gone and checked out and liked Listed, check it out right now. Go right here. Go to Listed. Subscribe to it. You're going to love it. It is HGTV for Gen Z. Let's go. Let's go. And make sure you like and subscribe to this video as well. And then I've got marketing. Okay, right. come on. I'm 17 minutes late. I hate being late. Disrupt for good. Okay. Oh. Okay. I am a professional marketer. I have a team of professional marketers that work with me to make sure that we are on top of everything that we're doing, all of our direct marketing, all of our indirect marketing, all of our mass marketing, and all of our target marketing. And so we go through everything, Kristen runs that, and then it's back to work. Okie dokie. Um, all right, can you post it? Yeah. Uh, we have a 12 o'clock. Boom, hold on, time out for not lunch, I know it's middle of the day, breakfast. Except I fast for 18 hours a day. Sunday through Friday, I eat from 12 to 6. I've gamified food so that I don't waste time looking for it. Life hack number two is buy back your time. As an example for how I do it, I never focus on food. I do focus on food, but I don't think about getting my own food. I calculated the inefficiency and the lack of productivity in the time of going to find lunch, of going to find breakfast, and then not eating healthy at night because I'd be so tired because I would spend six or seven hours not eating. And I took gamified food and I bought back that time. I use a food delivery service that delivers my food every day. And I eat that food specifically between 12 and six. Ready? <laughs> oh. Real quick pause. I told you, I don't around people. If that clock says 1159, I am not eating until I'm well have died. And sometimes, oh my God, I get so hungry. It's the longest minute I've ever had. Oh! Mm. Over there. Okay. Ugh. Hello, 
out, dog. Hold on one second. That's right, I never take lunch breaks. Because why would I take time to think when I can just be productive? So I eat on the go. I believe really strongly in synergy. Now again, does that mean that I'm crazy, that I don't take time for myself? I don't go for walks and think and read? No, no. It means that I don't waste my fucking time. I'm an adult, bro. I don't go on like lunch dates or lunch breaks. Every hour is another hour to change the world. I'm building a business here. I'm building a company. I do not have a single minute to waste, let alone an hour to go have a chicken salad. Hey, and this is 250 Mercer. Yeah. Got the B-roll and stuff on the screen. Perfect. 13, 14, 15, 16. Life hack number three for today is don't prioritize your schedule. Schedule your priorities. We are all so busy right now. We are all so overcommitted. There are all of these different people telling me what to do. And maybe you're sitting there and you're in school. Maybe you have school things all day long and then extracurriculars and then you're trying to figure out what to do with your life and you're busy too. So many of us, we just follow our calendars, which is okay as long as your calendar is full of priorities and not just busyness. I focus my calendar on what is actually prioritized to get done that day. Right now, I'm about to go do a property tour with an agent of mine, Donna Stragatz, at her listing 250 Mercer. That is a priority of mine. One, to boost my agents and the people around me using the resources and everything that I have. And two, because that's a big value add for our company. Look at me right now. Let's do this as voiceover. Look at me, look at me doing that tour. Look at me talking, look at me going at it, right? Look at me doing this, and I'm doing this as a priority, not because my schedule tells me to, but because I prioritized it. It's a busy day. There's a lot going on, and it is easy to get distracted. Life hack number four is you need to mitigate your distractions. As an example, I have no games on my phone. Add up all the time you spend playing little games on your phone and use that against your hourly wage that you're hoping to make this year and see how much money you're actually spending on those games. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to click off, right? That doesn't mean that you can't get distracted by a cool song, that you can't play Wordle, but if you find yourself sitting there on Fortnite or doing something and hours have gone by, so much of your life can just blink. I was talking to somebody earlier today who is addicted to smoking pot. Right? That's a big distraction for him because it's sitting right there. He has it right there. Let me just smoke a little bit of that. Find ways to take what distracts you during the day and put it in another room. Gamify it. And that is in a future vlog. All right, now we have a pitch on the upper west side. And that brings us to life hack number five. For any of you who are like me, who are commuters, you're coming in and out of the office or you're commuting in and out of your home office these days, right? And I know things have changed that way. You want to maximize that commute if you have one. You might not have one. You might actually just work from your bed. In which case, maybe life hack number four is incredibly important to you because if you work from home, you are surrounded by distractions. But if you have a commute like me and like a lot of other people, how can you maximize that commute? So for example, right now, I'm meeting with Brian Chan, a developer of ours named Tom. He's about to buy this building in Midtown and we're talking about the ways to do it. I had conversations about the project all the way in my lead up in my car to get there. And I'm gonna figure out marketing and proposals on the car ride back to wherever my next appointment is. You can start typing out ideas, start typing out a framework so that when you get home to a computer, you can sit there and say, ah, good thing I did this in my commute. Maybe you could listen to an audiobook. Maybe you could learn something. What did you learn today? What's one thing you learned today? You could do that during your commute. That is the end of my office and appointment day. Now I go home, see Amelia. We're gonna do a little caviar tasting. This will be fun. Uh, and then kind of back to work in my home office. And so I, now I have to run. I'd be home like 10 minutes. That was it. That was my day. Those are my five life hacks for how to squeeze the most out of your day. Life hack number one is only focus on the highest quality problems. Only focus on what you can do. Everything else should be focused on by other people. Life hack number two was buy back your time. So like for me, I have my food delivered to me. I don't spend that time going and looking for food. I can use it elsewhere. I bought that time back. Buy back your time if you're wasting it. Three, don't prioritize your schedule. Schedule your priorities. Four, mitigate distractions. If you work from home, 
remove distractions. And if you are anywhere else, don't have games on your phone. And then five is if you have a commute, maximize it, which is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the end of Vlog Yuri. Here, we go. In focus. This vlog is gonna be fire. It's gonna be awesome. 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 Ready?